Time now for News for Utah Sports with Dana Green. The U.S. women's national soccer team is in town to take on China Thursday night at Rio Tinto Stadium. Now, Team USA has played here before, but this time three Utah Royals are on the team. Abby Smith, Amy Rodriguez, and Becky Sauerbrunn making this international friendly or exhibition a little more special. To be able to play for USA on their professional home turf is a big comfort for these Utah Royals. It is a big comfort. I mean, we practice on this playing field every day. We get to play there at the stadium at Rio Tinto with Utah Royals FC. So it's nice to be home. And also, you just kind of know the environment and the atmosphere. And the city really supports the soccer here. And so hopefully they'll support it on Thursday night as well. So how friendly are the friendlies? Well, seeing how China ended USA's 10-year, 104-game home winning streak the last time they played in 2015, it might not be so friendly. Friendlies, very loose term. Um, we're absolutely going out there to win. Um, there's nothing really friendly about it, but China's a good side, and so it'll be a good challenge for us. Absolutely. I mean, we always play every friendly to win. Um, so whether we play someone straight up or, or tactically try to beat them or um, expose their weaknesses, we're always looking at any way we can win, and it doesn't matter to us if it's a World Cup game or a friendly. Now, women's soccer has always been popular during World Cup years, but with the NWSL getting more established, the players hope interest in the sport becomes more consistent. When you have a platform, I mean, we're on Lifetime, and so you see our games on TV, our national team games, but I think having um, a week in and week out, making it available and accessible to people so they see it, I think it stays in their minds a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, I think obviously as you go through the World Cup and the Olympics, the, um, just the support kind of peaks at that, at that time. And with the NWSL and just um, with soccer kind of growing as much as it has in the U.S., you just see the, that support kind of being a little more steady throughout those um, non-World Cup years. Now, the Women's World Cup is next year in France. The U.S. men's team, of course, didn't qualify for the World Cup. That starts next week in Russia. So it's up to the women. Yep, waiting on them.